Hello Luigi Noids, this is Luigi X Rules playing Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. In the last episode, we fought the Tower of Yik. And in this episode, we're gonna have to listen to this music for the fifth time. And also slowly go up this elevator. So over here you can see another giant exclamation switch and another one. Huh, I wonder if we're gonna unlock the ability to deal with them. See, there's even another one. This is a cool thing. Hmm. Here's a book. What's with this book? It's totally blank. And now you're sealed. <coughs> Who has awakened me from my eternal slumber? Who are you, Bob? You live in there? I am called Yik. Master creator, bonded genius, inventor of the Tower of Yik. And you are? What? You don't know me? Me? My physical body no longer treads the paths of this world. My soul slumbers in this book. My entire existence distilled into a patchwork of dreams. But you are not of dreams. You are no ordinary being, are you? You got that right, buddy. I'm Bowser, the Koopa King. I see. And are you one tormented by the ageless, ageless riddle of Boo? Boo. Yes, Boo. That which disappears even as one thinks it appears. That which appears even as one thinks it disappears. A mirage, ephemeral, ephemera, like the gulf betwixt dreams and waking. I am tormented by the riddle of Boo. In this place, I have researched their ways. And the result is... This Boo Ray machine. Blu-ray, what? The machine's light renders the insides of one body visible. My proprietary laser emits boo transparency waves, giving the light its special properties. If you wish to see, stand upon the marked platform before it. I mean, we don't have any other choice. Good for walking around a bit, I guess. Good. Now you must hit the machine switch. Behold, your body is transparent. And it looks like there's a reaction down here. Whoa, it's like a spotlight for my gut. In layman's terms, yes. Well, amazing, isn't it? Makes one feel like saying, wow, well, that yick. Right? Sorry about that cut. This marks the first issues of the Blu ray on a living being. I consider the trial a success. Now, to sleep on dream again. Use it all you wish. And... Look! Over there! Some activity! Let's go check it out! Yay, this song again! We already heard it in the trash pit, but now we get to do it for another area! Wow! Wow! With his mom upside down. barrier that bug escaped under just a disappeared. The light from outside changes this place, huh? Now we can resume the chase! Come on, let's go! go. Alright, just like he said, let's go. So up on the top screen, we can either punch or back. If we punch it, then the light goes away. Oh yeah, right. And just like they did, we have to spin jump across. And then we have to jump. So now, there is a save block. And now... Some things only Globin knows. Like when one sees nothing. One must let light shine on to make the invisible ish exist. Or the opposite. Some things shun the light and hide when light strikes their Globin. 
Because by what he says, those platforms do still exist when there's no light shining on it. These boo things will disappear if the light's on. So this is a light mechanic that they change. Or that they... Ooh, hey. Invincibility frames. As always, new enemies introduces... Or new areas introduce new enemies. This, in this case, the naps. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there is a color change. You can jump. I'd recommend jumping with both of the bros. Also, I would not recommend killing one of them, because what they can do is they can just split. But, unlike the news, also this is their other attack. But unlike the news, they actually cut their HP in half. Which is a much better way to do a, a respawning enemy, in my opinion. Cutting their HP instead of forcing them to... Cutting their HP instead of forcing them to have an entire new one. Just so much better this way. So as you can see, there are platforms going up here. We can also go down here. Find nothing, though. So what you could do instead, though, is... You heard that sound? Yep, there were some invisible boo platforms. So you can actually, like, feel your way around just hop like that. And now we can go over here, do a spin jump. Do another spin jump, find an item. Do a super nut. Again, I don't use items for the same reason, actually, on one of Chogo Conroy's Chrono Trigger videos. He says, but if I use it, I don't, I won't have it. I guess that's kind of the same logic I use. So I never u end up using it until, like, the final bosses. Oh, hey, Mom. Alright. Time to take care of these naps. Would pro naps be just naps? Also, watch out, they do throw them kind of fast, but you do have enough time to jump as both of them. Alright, so now, probably gonna split. Yeah, they always seem to split when there's only one, but again, it cuts their HP in half, so it's much better. Sadly, that does mean we're only going to get goods, but, yeah. Also, they're flying, so I don't think hammers work on them. Check all of these pipes, see that none of them lead anywhere. Then there's another room over here. Alright. Haha, <laughs> take that. Next battle, we're probably going to level up. Can't see anything, let's do that. You can see dotted line. Alright. Get refreshing herbs. We can go down here. Hit that. If you want a few extra coins. I guess. Okay, now let's go in here. And. Ta-da. There it is. Behind that gate. It looks like sealed by a star. And then there was Globin. Oh, holder of the panel made of triangular-ish pieces. Be sure to press up in front of the gate on the left. Something will happen. Globin. So there's more email Globins like this. Legends speak the name of the biggest star panel down below my Globin. They say when dazzleish light pierces the bright star panel, a new panel is born. So you can technically go into these in any order you want, but... Oh, hey, an attack piece. Nice. Here's that star panel that you know Globin was talking about. There's also a save block here. Of course, way too early to end off the episode, though. So now we can go into any of these pipes, but let's go into this one first, the top right. You can see these platforms over there, but it can't go there yet. Oh, shy, little globe and boo, it's time to see hi, boo, hoo. Oh, shy, little globe and boo, sign to solidify, woohoo. Lyrics, emo globin. Music, emo globin. 
Emoglobin. Title. Dare I be shy? So what he's saying is that these boos will actually move when the lights when the lights not on. And they actually look kinda cute when they're like that, but you really don't have to wait for this guy to be in position, I guess. You can just uh all you can do it is Mario. Pretty sure you can just Wow, I wonder why it's not there. You don't actually need to wait for that guy, but so obviously there's gonna be a few puzzles and a few battles. Also, when they use this attack, it does take up both of their attack turns. With that battle done, both of them leveled up. We're level 16 now. So now we can go ahead and do the defense. No. Stash. Surprisingly, also no. Power. Wow, pretty well rounded here. It's hard to guess, probably HP then. Not even HP, wow. So speed. Wow, very well run. SP. Whatever. Apparently we're very well rounded. Alright. Now Luigi needs... I'd like to upgrade your SP, but I upgraded that a lot that one time, so let's try power. Eh, defense. Speed. Yeah, I've seen some big numbers there lower than the enemies are currently fighting. So, uh, also what I was saying earlier about puzzling and battling, that's kind of all this game is. And, hey, this is actually a new enemy. If you jump on them, they will stop. This is Speed Pep, Pow Pep. These guys are, I think, the same enemy class. This guy, you want to wait until he... Um, lowers his guard to hit him with a hammer. I just did it so quickly there that you couldn't see him. And this is a defense pep. Since he wants to do not that, I got hit by every single one of those attacks, and he changed. Why don't they all just do that? They can change forms. Obviously, with each form, they have more of something. For example, defense form, they have more defense. So, as you can see, significantly more defense. Speed form, they have more speed. And in attack form, they have more attack. Strategy is just to beat up on them until they die. But there is something that they can do that we have not seen yet. And I'll try and show that off. But anyway, next is... To do this puzzle here, where we have to come up here, doesn't look like there's anything to do. Hey, there was something spitting at us. Oh, coins. Okay. Now, we probably need to... Something spitting at us. What do you know? It's a new enemy! Piranha Plurp! These guys are pretty bulky. And honestly, kind of hard to take down. So what it'll do sometimes is you'll do this. Is it'll go to the top screen and you'll have to... Based off of what color it is, you'll have to attack it. Of course, but of course they could inflict poison. So you definitely want to avoid the attack. Alright. This is the other attack. Based off of how many times he bulges. Wow, that's a lot. So you have to... You don't really have a lot of reaction time to move. Now both of the bros are poisoned. But luckily we took them down. And that's that. The one enemy gives you 140 experience though, so that's not bad. Pranaporps live in pipes, so we just couldn't see it. Because he kind of launched that from a distance. And, hey look, there's a shell block and a speed pet. Still haven't done that thing that I wanted to sh show off. I'll go over here with the spin jump because it's safer. And whoa, one of the luck. That fully restores the HP of a fallen bro. Pretty useful there. Also, take the blue shell, go down here. Kind of just gotta wait for that blue platform to appear. And then you hit the switch to reveal that. And now. 
we can utilize it. Go across here. Hit this panel thing. That'll change it to that. Now we can hit this switch. Not required, but it is an easier way back. You can hop on these, but of course, it's not required to see them. Get a super mushroom from that. Also, if you go down here, ta -da. Ah, whatever. I already spoke to you. Now we can go down this left one. It's the next way to go. We can go over there, of course. Let's go this way. Can't see anything. Still can't see anything. A reflector wall that rears up before this globe and bright light reflections bring the pattern of floors to our eyes. But such brightness has a price for one loses track of oneself. And then one must douse the light and remember one's place. So you can do is, as you can see, it, it will show the platforms when the light is on, but it'll show you when the light is off. Personally, I like to keep the light off because you can kind of, oh yeah, you can also see blocks while the light is off. So, but you can kind of see, judge where they are based off of the camera. But if you ever lose track of them, you can just switch it. Oh, and also, there's enemies. It's useful to switch back and forth between the two things, of course. I mean, you can jump through the platforms. One of the looks there. Let's see here. You can also look on the map to see that we're decent ways through. Um, let's see here. Oh, you can see that there's platforms. Nothing else down here. Oh, and oops. Now I have to traverse the whole thing again. I'll meet you back at the place that we were. Alright, now we're back at the place. We we can do now is we can spin jump across here. Get up here. See that there's actually a block down there though. So I'll try to get it. Here are we. Now we can go up here and fight this guy. Alright. Now it looks like there's two ways we can go to this next room here. There's something shining in the ground. And... Whoa, that goes really fast. But it's only five, luckily. And we get four attack pieces. Nice. We can drop down to the lower level. Oh. Oh, hey. Got another enemy. A Qualop. Which is just a reskin of a proto batter. Well, I would say that, except there is something special about him. That we might see. So that's something else that the peps can do. They can increase the stats of other enemies. Obviously, the pal peps increase pal, speed peps increase speed, and the defense peps increase defense. Now I didn't get to see what the Qualop did in that battle, but we will have more battles with them. 50 coins! It's a lot. Alright, then. Now we can hit this. And... I think that'll do it for this episode, guys. In the next episode, we will be exploring more of the energy hold, and until next time, goodbye.